thing as we go through the schedule and, and uh, you know, you, that was one game and, and the, the Cardinals had a big day and you got to give it to them. All right, you may have heard some boos coming from the crowd here because the Rams skill position players just ran out behind us and they're out on the field in the end zone right now. But let's talk more about this. And Vince, I'll start with you. You've seen the numbers. So if, if you're Sean McVay, how do you attack the Seahawks defense? Look, Kyle, offense is for show. Defense wins games. And in a short week, especially early in the season, the defense has to step up. Okay, so whichever defense steps up tonight, the Rams or Seahawks, that will really pretty much dictate who's going to win or lose this football game. And I think, you know, you look at Pete Carroll, he's so energetic, he's so much fun to work with, he's always there, he, he, he loves competition, and you got Sean McVay on the other side that wants to win, he'll do anything to win. So I'm, I'm telling you, it's just going to be a matchup. Defense is going to have to play up tonight. All right, let's bring in the whole gang. And Jackie, I want to ask you this because whenever we're watching a football game together in the first half, you're always asking me how many yards rushing do the Rams have at this point? So how are you attacking the Seahawks defense? Well, first of all, you, you're starting to get to really know me, Kyle. <laughs> you know, you've got to be able to beat people up up front. That's the physical parts yeah. of the game. And one of the things that I have noticed with Sean McVay's offense over the last few years since he's been here, he was first, he was third, he was fourth, he was fourth in play action passes. They were throwing more play action passes, 32% in the high 30s for the, all of those years. And right now they're only throwing play action pass 22% of the time. Now why the big difference? Well, it's because you've got to be able to run the football. They've got to be able to respect you at the line of scrimmage. Those backers got to bite. So you can get that ball thrown behind them. That's going to be key tonight. I'm looking forward to that, and hopefully they'll get that done. I agree, Jackie. Now, what the Rams do best and what they've always done best here under Sean McVay is attack people vertically. I think you've got to put that fear in them and put it in them early. This defense ranked 28th in passing in the NFL. They're having their issues back there. Go after them. Don't forget, they got a guy named Deshaun Jackson. I don't care how old he is. He can still run by you. Get him involved early down the field. Make them play six in the box. Then you can start running the football. And Matthew Stafford has to be excellent. He's got to be on. He, uh, he can't miss many tonight. And, and, and dictate tempo. Like uh, McVay talked about dictating, dictate the tempo early. Any way you look at this Seattle defense, it's not very good, whether it be the passing defense, the rushing defense, the total defense, the scoring defense. They allowed 30 points to the Vikings, and they only scored seven last week against the Browns. That's true, Kyle. And Jackie is singing my favorite song, okay? Any quarterback loves to have a running game out in front of them. So whichever team can run that football, everything else is going to come in place. And guys, I'll tell you what, I saw DK Metcalf up and close tonight. Run. You probably come up to his belly button. Okay, man, that guy is mammoth. He is. All right, he we're going to take a quick break. We are just a, a, close to a quarter of the way through the NFL season now, and there are some special plays we've seen so far. We're going to share some of them with you right after this. All right, welcome back, everybody. We are here at Lumen Field, and we are getting ready for football tonight. It is right around the corner, the Rams and the Cardinals. And, guys, before we get there, first of all, Rams and the Seahawks, I'm still thinking about that game on Sunday and still disappointed. But I want to ask you guys in the studio some of the biggest surprises you've seen so far in the first part of the season. Uh, Jackie, I, I, I think this Arizona team is a surprise for me. I, 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 I knew Kyler Murray... Uh, was on that verge and uh, he could do some things but there was so much chatter in the offseason about the coach and maybe you know he's not the right fit and and they did bring in another receiver but it all of a sudden it seems like things have clicked and I know it's early I know it's early but for them to be 4-0 that's a surprise for me right now I think the biggest surprise for me is watching uh Sean McVay kind of changed things up a little bit. I mean, he has thrown, run the football a lot. He has used play action pass almost, you know, almost exclusively on some of his big plays. Ron was talking about getting the ball thrown down the field. And now I'm just not seeing that. I, I'm looking forward to watching him pull everything together. Uh, I think he had a lot of confidence in this Matthew Stafford kid from the pocket. And that might have to do with it. 
But I'm, I want to see a whole lot more play action pass, a whole lot more from the pocket, and a whole lot more pounding at the line of scrimmage. That's the biggest surprise to me about right. the Rams. All right, gentlemen, thank you very much. And Vince, let me ask you that. Uh, some of the biggest surprises you've seen in this season so far through four games. Well, I think not only is it a surprise, but it really is something really to marvel at to see the Chargers play the way they're playing. Oh, boy, yeah. I mean, I really like the Chargers and, and their their concepts and what they're doing offensively and defensively. They're so much more improved this year, Kyle. They're winning close games. They're, they're, they're opportunistic. They're doing things that they have to do to win. So, I mean, we're we're lucky to be in Los Angeles. We've got two really good teams. Yeah, no doubt about it. For me, I think the biggest surprise is some of the parity in, in the NFL this year. You know, one week you've got a New Orleans team that can clobber the Green Bay Packers, and then they're suddenly losing to the New York Giants at home. So call it call it parity, inconsistency, I don't know. But uh, we'll see moving forward. It's a lot of fun to watch. Sure I want to thank you for watching, and be sure to stay tuned. We've got the kickoff coming up at 520, and after the game tonight, we will have sports wrap for you to wrap it all up. For Jackie Slater, Ron Pitts, and Vince Ferragamo, I'm Kyle Kraska. We'll see you later tonight right here on Fox 11.